Nice to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chelbet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupsha. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Nothing for days. Nettle and turnips. Been a bit dry over here. Smells good, that. There you go, your man. Come on, boy. Not half bad, boy. But be fierce, dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. 
Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Gilbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ. They are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Within count! Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dealov, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain fluff. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them.
Zug und jetzt drin, Männe der Frauen. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriat is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvach by name. Address me proper. Tell me, uh, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tiny sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. And you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rotary. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. But I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown, I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down the king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Briton soldiers from Shirapsha, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see you about the silver. No! Enough of this nonsense! Ivar! Lock the doors, merge with that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened? Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you... Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotary and its every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. Lady Unhadad, take this silver. Do what you can to calm your husband. I shall. The kingdom of Gwynedd thanks you. Now you dangle silver.
I have spoken with everyone who matters. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. Lady Young Harrod will use the silver to bolster the royal treasury. That will reassure and calm Rodri. Ah, a wise woman indeed. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eva, combat no. now! Boneless Eva. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door!
must let Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. You did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Ivar. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need... Oh. Now, when you... You murdered Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Jailbird killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar. And I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury, then, once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Bishop. Have you made progress, my friend? Some. Have no fear. Hate me, be my eyes. Huh? 
Why? Why? Lost are everyone. You mostly, Ludgard. Breta, Ustre, and Setere. I served the true gods. The old ones. To be killed by you holds honor. Killing holds all glory. Spread your wings, Sunil.
this cursed chicken coop. Men with the soft spirit. More valuable than cargo. I give you freedom. Now you give this shire your pike. I will. supply line. We'll drag Rotary back to the peace table soon enough. Show me what lies ahead.
Magon Musian Torcht on Smithan. This work they is Fandian Lord. Augusta Chaffrey. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. And thank you.
A stone quarry filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, I'll push Rotary to peace. Say Cosper, free! These men will fight for us.
senses. Now to Westbury, before Ivar causes more problems. Oh! 